Hey everybody, it's uh, July 4th today. We are all loaded up. I had to work this weekend, we just got all loaded up. I'm gonna head down to Chitna and try to get our reds. The state opened it up to where we could keep a king this year. So as far as I know, the water is extremely high right now and the fishing is a maybe a little bit slower, but this is the time that I have to go down and we're gonna go see if we catch some fish. I'm just bringing a tent, the two six buys, Aaron, Owen, and the dogs. It's not that smoky today, but it has been very smoky here. The fire that's we're getting all this smoke from is right by our cabin it's like three or four miles from my cabin moving the other direction so hopefully don't have nothing to worry about there but where we're going there should not be smoke we are hoping there is no smoke there so we're just a few minutes out of out of north pole you can see how smoky it is we're hoping we get on the other side of delta get out of the smoke about 90 miles from here. Another big forest fire right there. Made it down here, it's about seven o'clock. Get everything offloaded and organized. It's about 75 degrees here. Walk down to our spot down there a minute ago, just to make sure there's no one there. 
You get some to eat real fast. We go get our fish. So we're done here trying to get everything set up. We're all gonna get in our harnesses, be tied off. But I dropped my I dropped my net in the water for like less than a minute, and I caught one. So I have a feeling it's gonna it's gonna be a pretty short lived tonight, which is awesome. Get our stuff on here, and we'll get going. Well, we've been fishing for less than a minute and mom already got one. No one hasn't got one yet. Looks like we're gonna do good. Five or six on the screen now. One's caught two in the past ten minutes. Oh, really really one. Oh, please stay there. Don't break. And keep it. Another one. Right, so these are the ones we want to. What are you doing, Oki? Oh, mom got one. I threw this king back because we are hoping for a little bit bigger one. Oh, go lay down. Lay no. Going pretty good. 
Well, we've been here for about 45 minutes. Got about 20 to 25 fish now. So going pretty good. Well, Colin and Mom just caught one. Basically the exact same times. Oakley wants to go down there and eat them. Paisley wants to leave. She's cool. Wants to go down there. Daisy is sleeping. Two. Two in one net. Just got one. Good. These guys. Well, we've caught about 42 fish in about an hour and a half. Yeah, oh, there's 43. 43. That's 43. There's 43. Well, Owen just got a king. Hey, don't bring hey, put it in the water. Bring it to me. I did. Set it. That's it, man. That's why we threw that one. Get that one down. Good size. Dad. Want it? Can't really. <laughs> Good 
Here, one of my stringers broke. Surprisingly, we didn't lose any of the fish. Miranda caught them all. You had it? Oh. <laughs> I got that on video. Yeah, you look back and you're like, Gotta catch one more. Pack it up. Oh, oh there it is. 65 right there. Oh, there's two of them. 66. I'll throw one back though. I 
she have? No. I should have kept track of how many I caught. Hey, you done. Did I catch another one? Two, I did. Two and a half hours. That's the one on the close to so that's the sixty-seven. Eight. Keep the big one. She said to keep fishing. Number sixty-five. That's sixty-five. I'll get it back, Dad. Robert. At the end of the day, one thing I really like to do. For the next guy that steps on this rock and they like to wash his blood off. It's been 85 degrees here every day and it stinks bad if we don't get rid of this blood. So I bring a bucket, I wash the blood off the rock that I put there. If you don't do it, it makes it hell for the next guy that's standing down here sniffing dried up blood all day. Oh, wait. Flies are bad when you get out of the wind. Okay, this is the last set of the fish. Last run, we gotta make up there when we're done. One has two bags, or uh, two sets of fish, which is 12. That has 12 too. done here. Okay, it is exactly 12.15. It took us three hours to go down, set up, 
catch them and pack them back up. That's a lot of work. 65 fish total, one king. All the fish are in there. And we're gonna strap the rest of the crap on top. We we're planning on camping here if we had to. But since we don't have to, we're gonna go back to the truck. I think we're gonna go back and hopefully I got a headlamp in the truck. I think I forgot it. Go back and uh, lay them. Let's see, might, might finish flaying them in the morning. I'm not sure. But, okay. Okay, it's 12.25, got everything strapped down. It's not very often you see him laying there like that. Well, we've got the tent set up. Everybody's trying to figure out where they're going to sleep. It's a floorless tent. It's the one I take sheep hunting with me. It's Kafari Sawtooth. Awesome tent. Very lightweight. Anyways, for the fish, we dumped a bunch of ice in there on top of them. We'll do all of them here in a few hours. We're going to take a nap. It's getting close to 2 o'clock. So we'll get up around 7 or 8 and before it gets hot out and go down there and flay them all. It's pretty awesome when it happens like this. It doesn't always happen like this. 75, 80 degrees all day or all evening. Got our fish.
sucks. This is where we're gonna stay the night. About halfway home. Planned on stopping on this side of the mountains because on the other side it's gonna be way smoky. We're gonna go up there, right up there and eat dinner. Having salmon we caught last night, macaroni and cheese, and some garlic bread. And a beer. <laughs> 